Greetings to everyone. I am Dr. Remya Krishnan. I am an associate professor and HOD at Rajiv Gandhi Ayurveda Medical College at Mahi, Puducherry. It's a Puducherry government college. That's where I work. Here's why I am speaking at this show. For over a year, we have been grappling with the fear of COVID. We all know that this pandemic has majorly impacted the functioning of our lives. Let's understand how Ayurveda can play a part in this. We only read about the involvement of modern medicine in fighting COVID. We read about sanitizing our hands, wearing masks, the vaccine, the modern medications, etc. No one is discussing how Ayurveda or homeopathy protocols can be used to diagnose and treat this infection. Why is so? What is the reason for Ayurveda being sidelined in a massive situation where it can be aptly utilized? Modern medicine says that this is a brand new virus and hence Ayurveda is not equipped to deal with this infection. Here's what I have to say. There is no such thing as a virus in Ayurveda. There is no disease called COVID either in Ayurveda. Ayurveda talks about respiratory tract infection associated fever as a condition in itself. Ayurveda talks about all kinds of infectious and non-infectious diseases, anything that is a manifestation of the immune response to toxins and infectious agents. We consider fever as a condition in itself. In Ayurveda, fever is not a symptom but a disease to be treated. There is extensive science and research in Ayurveda on how to understand a particular fever and how to treat it. It could be any infectious fever with any given name. We look at the pattern of the disease, the way it manifests, and based on that, we can treat the disease. Whether it is a brand new infectious disease or an old infectious disease, we can understand the pattern of the disease and diagnose it accurately and then treat it using Ayurvedic guidelines and protocols. A scientific Ayurveda practitioner will tell you that an RT-PCR test is irrelevant. That's because in Ayurveda, what goes on inside your body is given far more importance. How does your immune system react to an infection by this new virus? That's what scientific Ayurveda practitioners would worry about. Before the onset of any infection, certain typical symptoms show up in most humans. Fatigue, body pain, loss of appetite, are all generic symptoms that show up commonly to warn us that we are not going to experience fever. In this pre-fever onset period itself, if we aid our immune system with a specific medicated water and a simple prescribed diet like green gram rice gruel, the body can fight and stop the infection from proceeding that medicines destroy infectious organisms. Ayurvedic medicines are not directly destroying infectious organisms. It is our body's very specific immune response that destroys infectious organisms by the treatment principles of Ayurveda. These immune responses can be aided and made specifically stronger using medicated water and the right nutrition. These medicated agents and the food intake changes based on the nature of the fever. For example, the food and specific medicated water prescribed for dengue may not be the same as that prescribed for H1N1 or COVID-19. It changes as per the type of fever. A scientific Ayurveda practitioner will be able to judge and prescribe the accurate treatment protocol based on the type of fever. So, we understand what goes on inside your body, diagnose it, and then treat it in a certain manner, based on age-old Ayurvedic science and our research work. We do not diagnose it as COVID-19 or H1N1. We look at how is your body reacting to the fever and how should we help your body fight it. It could be any infectious disease spreading in masses. We have our own methods to understand the disease, the patient and then bring the patient back to good health. If we get to intervene and treat the patient, between 4 to 24 hours of the onset of the symptoms, we can bring the patient back to health using the guidelines and protocols of Ayurvedic science. We conduct regular research to understand the complex but accurate Sanskrit texts on Ayurveda. Moreover, fever is not a symptom but a disease as per Ayurveda. Like I mentioned, what within your body causes the fever to erupt and how does your body's immune mechanism respond to the intruding entities causing fever is prescribed in Ayurveda science. What is to be done at every step of every medical condition is explained in accurate detail in Ayurvedic scientific treatises of Karaka Samhita, Ashtanga Samhita, and Sisratha Samhita. These are the most important and authentic texts of learning and reference for Ayurvedic doctors. It's tough to understand these texts and use them appropriately in the current day context. Therefore, my husband Dr. Raj Kumar, Associate Professor and HOD, Rajiv Gandhi Ayurveda Medical College, and I, have put in over 10 years of research and studies to develop pertinent Ayurvedic treatment methodologies. We can use these methodologies to diagnose and treat all kinds of diseases using scientific Ayurveda methods. 
We can treat all kinds of mild to moderate conditions using these scientific Ayurvedic methods. This involves little to no medication usage. We tend to use Ayurveda science specified medicated water preparations after understanding the nature of the disease in a patient's body can be determined by observing the recovering health of the patient or even using the commonly prevalent lab tests to ascertain various body parameters. CRP, ESR, blood routine etc. are very common tests that we can be used to determine the course of progression of our treatment methods. We need to study the impact of scientific Ayurvedic methodologies where the treatment is specific to every individual patient's inner body mechanisms. Even if we treat 10 patients, and observe the treatment outcome in 10 patients, we can ascertain the efficiency of our methods. You will also see obvious improvement in the patients, in terms of reduced fatigue, regaining appetite, reduced body pain etc., which are signs of an active immune response. People are randomly consuming any preparations these days, thinking they are Ayurvedic medicines, in order to improve our innate immune responses. These are not Ayurvedic medicines. No such preemptive or preventive method exists in Ayurveda. Ayurveda involves using our science and texts for identification of the diseases. Only a qualified Ayurveda practitioner, can accurately diagnose such infectious and non-infectious diseases. That is why, we have developed accurate diagnoses and treatment methods, as a part of science-based evidence-based Ayurveda. We have not only developed and published these Ayurvedic practices, but we had also sent a formal request to the Ayush Ministry in 2018, to consider our work in the time and age of infectious diseases. Our work can help Ayurveda doctors treat all kinds of diseases, in an accurate manner. Our request is sitting with Ayush and the Prime Minister. Ayurveda doesn't care about the name of infectious disease. Be it Corona or H1N1, Ayurveda has principles and methods to treat these infections. Their names are irrelevant. A positive RT-PCR test does not conclude an infection. Just because the viral particle is in your body doesn't mean that you have an infection, unless the infection manifests itself. The virus being inside your body, just means that a protein particle is inside your body. How does your immune system react to this viral particle? How can we assist the immune system to destroy this virus? We have researched, analyzed and developed an accurate method to understand all this. We have an Ayurvedic methodology to treat infections. You could assign patients to us without even telling us that, they are COVID patients and despite that, we can treat them. The government could assign us 25 to 50 mild or moderate stage patients admitted at the hospital. We can transparently diagnose their condition, and treat them within 2 to 3 days. We can do so in 1 one hundredth of the current cost of treatment, that they are undergoing. We can bring these patients back to good health using our research to Ayurveda in their symptoms and health, and you can even measure the treatment outcome using the current common medical tests. Ayurveda science is a little more advanced. We do not need to study every infection causing bacteria and virus, that comes up every other day. The science has taught us ways to understand, how does our body react to certain infections, old or new? How does the immune system, work in case of such infections? Our Ayurveda science has methods to know this, and aid the immune response, to cure these infections. Therefore, us, SBEBA Ayurveda doctors, can treat such patients, with no drugs, and with just specific medicated water, and pathia diet. We do not need to use allopathy medications, and complicate these infections. This is probably the reason, that the government has sidelined Ayurveda, in this fight against the current infectious disease, Corona. Whatever may be the reason, all I have to say is, my husband and I have researched, studied and developed treatment methods, for all kinds of infectious and non-infectious diseases, not just corona. We have also trained many Ayurvedic doctors, to use our treatment protocols. They are treating so many infectious fevers, across the country using SBEBA treatment methods. We could treat even more people. Many more. If the government gives us a chance, all of Kerala and India, could fight COVID and bring patients to good health, without having to fight for oxygen or ventilators, the world will be awed by how our patients are recovering so fast. We have no vested interests in this, except to help mankind heal from all infectious diseases, irrespective of their names, using science-verified, and approved SBEBA Ayurvedic methodologies. Communicating this message, with a clear heart, is my only motto for participating in this talk show.